and welcome. Nope, it didn't start. Oh, we did. <laughs> welcome to the Never Cast Off podcast, where life is just interesting every day. <laughs> My name is Debbie. I'm Dead's Destiny on Ravelry and Instagram, and this is Sheila. Uh, Blue Yarn always on social media, and this is episode 73, and it's August 21st. It's solar eclipse day. Yes, it's going to hit Michigan at like 1.30. 2.30? Oh, wait, no, 227. At 227, and we're not going to get the whole 100%. No, like 80, I think. Yep. 90? I don't know. Not too bad. It, somebody over the weekend said that around the eclipse, it's going to look like a, um, a sunset and sunrise at the same time. So That's it's cool. supposed to... That would be really interesting. Be a hundred percent sunset or sunrise. That would so be really that, interesting. That's the type of stuff. Um, somebody said that's what they're looking for, and I like that idea. I'm that's, looking for that too. That's really interesting. So um, we are hosting the Biggest Loser for the month of August. We are. So post your items in the thread. Do you want to say what the prizes are, or you just want to wait till until the winter in September? I can't remember. <laughs> we'll tell the winner. We'll, we'll tell, tell the, the yeah, winner this, when we know from Benita. When we announce the winner, then we'll tell you what the prize is for August. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I know it was good, but I can't remember what it was. I know I'd want to win it. And then but, um, I ended up finding out from my friend where I ended up gaining um, 2,090 grams of acrylic. She wants it back. Yay! <laughs> I don't have to put that on there. But we went to the Michigan Fiber Festival over we, the weekend. It, I, I could not. It, it was fabulous. Okay, um, I've been laid off for three years for um, an entity like the Michigan Fiber Festival, who is one of the biggest festivals in the Midwest. To hear an idea of mine and actually take it, I just, I can't believe how exciting it was. So because we had a little bit more effort into it, it was even more fabulous. And we got the chance to meet some of the people out there. And um, it, it was just amazing. So there, there's a 26 minute video entitled Allegan on you on our YouTube channel. So go check that out. We are actually on the fairgrounds in an easy up and we're talking to people, meeting people, viewers are coming in the tent. <laughs> it was so great. It's, it's like 26 minutes. So if you get a chance to watch that, um, it's it's really quite interesting yeah. to see what these ladies were shopping for and how far people came to the festival. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, um, I'm actually going to be part of the planning committee for the next year to try and make the social section of it actually bigger. So that was really exciting. I'm, I'm so excited about this weekend and the bad part is it's over and we have to come home and but it's again next year yeah oh and we have a visitor lucy had to say oh, oh that's lucy. because there's so much fleece down here Hi. that they're like pouncing on it <laughs> <laughs> they're like rolling in it um i i left some of my stuff here and some of the alpaca was out of the bag. <laughs> it was so cute. Yeah. I yep. think it's our fault. Yep. So we do have two <laughs> cows going on in the group. So, um, and they're going to be coming to an end at the end of this month. Um, let me see. Christmas in July will come to an end. Um, so there's a thread in our Ravelry group. If you're knitting or crocheting or weaving anything for Christmas, uh, make sure you post in that group. Check the rules. The prizes are listed. Um, for the Christmas in July. We are doing the Cardiac Ride Along with Pen Hook and Needles. They graciously asked us to co-host and we were thrilled to say yes. Um, and that ends September 30th. Yeah. And there are so many great things in there. If you're going to crochet, knit, or weave anything in red or pink, uh, feel free to put it in there. Um, also double dip in the Pen Hook and Needles and I think the Bookish Stitcher um, also has, uh, um, <clears throat> she's also um, in with the Cardiac Ride Along. And then that winner uh, will be drawn after that is over with. 
<clears throat> so um, before we started, we were trying to determine whether or not we're podcasting next week or not, and we just don't know yet. So yeah. I'm not sure if we're, there's going to be one more podcast before September 1st, or the podcast is just going to be once we get the news from Benito. Okay. Because so I don't know when we, we'll get that. We still have, um, we did a, a podcast in three parts, and so that's going to be up this week. And um, the first part is with us, and then it goes to Cappy at the Yarn and I, and then it go the the last part of that series is going to be the fiber pusher. Um, so it um, that's still going to be coming up, but we want to make sure that when we upload it, all three are able to be viewed at the same time. So you don't yeah. have to look for it. And they're and all stuff. they're all around twenty minutes. Um, yeah. All three clips are around twenty minutes, but we want to synchronize um, the upload. So that way, if you're watching one, you can, uh, you know, hop to two and hop to three. You don't have to search your way to date. So um, we're waiting to synchronize all that. We did miss Kelly, who is beating OT. We got I there at noon. Miss, I wanted to meet you. Yes, that just stinks. I seen the message on Ravelry. We were there at noon because on 94, there was an accident. There was construction, and we got delayed, even though we left at 830 in the morning. It, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It well, hopefully just... we can meet you next year. And then, um, San Sandra, um, I hope your ankle's feeling better because she wanted to come, Aww. but she hurt her ankle, so the walking would be out for her. So, Anna, and there is a lot of walking there. The Ann Arbor Festival is coming up. Yes, Ann it, Arbor. It's not as big. No, there, but not the animals that are there now. At the, the Elegant. Oh my gosh. I, I put, I ended up counting, I think I put 33 pictures from the Michigan Fiber Festival on my Instagram. Yeah, if you're. And some if, of them were videos. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> I took pictures of sheep and then I told you what the sheep was. But that I will was be. pretty cool. I will be vending here at the Michigan Fiber Expo. And I'm hoping my booth is next to the fiber pusher. <laughs> Fingers no. crossed. Oh. Fingers crossed. But make sure you get in and on the cows. So it's the Biggest Loser Stash Reduction Challenge. Also, um, Doris from the Knit and Pro Podcast Group is doing Reduce Your Grams. And she's doing monthly prizes. If you go check out her group, she's got a YouTube channel. It's the Knit and Pro Podcast Group. And also, Undead Yarn um, has a Whip It Down for the rest of the year. Ooh. So you might want to check out her group. She's also got a YouTube channel. Um, she's absolutely wonderful also. Um, yeah, there's just a lot out there. But um, thanks for everybody who's participating. Some of those things are amazing. I looked last night when I came home. I was okay. scouring on um, Instagram. No, on I, Ravelry oh. on the threads where oh, people they, are posting. Oh, they're, they're posting it from that in there. No, no, no. They're done projects. Oh, okay. They're done projects. They're Christmas knitting and then the cardiac red along they're posting in there. And then, of course, the biggest loser. Oh, my goodness. It's like a race. It's like you catch up and then you get back and then you catch up and then you get back. Yeah, I'm excited that the 2009 are going away because it, it just I took it. But I, you know, I I'm trying to get that jacket done for her before we meet um so i'm still working the on the polar that, bear but, jacket oh, oh yeah and there. thanks for everybody on youtube who commented to debbie that <laughs> that was great <laughs> like i am you know, not wearing that you know what's so funny i'm not wearing that that's the ones she saw the ones that i saw were like oh yeah i'd wear it even even better if it were wool you know mm -hmm. um so it's just interesting the perspective different perspective and yeah. you know that some agreed with her, some agreed with me, more agreed with her, but we're, we'll, yeah. Oh, also <laughs> Shelly Knowles, the lady who won the project, Michigan Project Bag, I haven't heard from you, so make sure you email me at bluebkg at yahoo.com, and in the subject line, put, um, you know, uh, YouTube prize or YouTube winner or something podcast, so I know if you fall into my junk box, um, that it's you looking for your prize. I still haven't heard a thing. Nothing at all. Okay, so most of this podcast is just going to be stash enhancements. This is all from Allegan. And maybe it's things you've never seen before or shops that you've never heard of. But we're going to give it a go. So go okay. ahead. So As let's I start with Benita because she's just amazing. 
Yeah, I need to get a hold of her because a lot of my stuff, I don't know what it is. Okay, so this is Merino. I know it's Merino because it says Merino on the bag. Oh, look at you. So it's um, a little bit darker than camel, I would guess you would call it. And um, I'm just, you can dye these even when they're this color and they just end up being a little bit darker. So I just, I'm just happy to have these and I'm going to dye them once it's spun. I ended up having issues with my, my wheel. And um, I got a lot of ideas at um, Elegant. And, um, but ideas for, for what could be wrong with it, how to fix it. Um, a lot of helpful people out there. Yes. And it just, anything you needed to know about the industry, they were there. You know, it just, it, it there was even uh, fiber mills there. People that independent fiber mills, which I'll tell you later, but yeah, just, we're, we're probably not going to get through herders. all of our contacts and stuff. And I haven't even been able to review that yet. Um, okay. I'll and show you what I was working on in the car. Yay. A market bag. Oh my gosh. It was like this one. You, yeah, you've done you it. But your car knitting, you always have to take your car, well, your car crochet, right? And then this is, um, because that's somebody fin? else got fin, a fin something. I got fin just because. So I bought, well, I went in <laughs> with my new friend. Lash, she's a businesswoman. Um, she was excited, so we bought four pounds of dirty fin. We had no idea what it was, but then we went to Benita's booth. She's selling clean, beautiful fin, <laughs> which I just showed you. <laughs> but we scored a good deal on it, so we're going to be washing it. I think it was forty dollars. Wow, for a little yeah, it was like forty dollars. It's dirty and mm. it's a creamy color, so I'm going to dye it, but. Yeah, we got fin. And on my Instagram, there is a picture of a fin sheep. I didn't know I there was a fin sheep. Okay. Did you? It. I I didn't catch all of the brands as well as you oh did. Oh, my God. The sheep. I w that was we, where most of my time was. Normally, in the normally, I stick with Sheila, and I just try and keep up with Sheila because her insight on different things, I'm always like, okay, what do you think about no, this? No, we split up. And, but we this time, I, I stuck with her for a while, and then and I'm just, like, yeah. Just I'm, go. Right. And yep. I did. And I ended up, I ended up doing some networking and it was amazing. Yep. Okay. So back to Benita. I got, this is like a half a ounce and it's of, um, let's see, llama, baby doll, South Down, um, Shetland. And there's... Let's see, border, how do you say that? Border luster? Yep. Border, oh, you got all the little sample bags. Yes, I did. Good and for then, you. You can try um, them all. Coop, coop Coopsworth. Oh, let me check and, Coopsworth. I don't think I ever <laughs> worked for that. And um, so Link, Lincoln Not bad. Polk. Lincoln's good. Marino. Oh, that's Oreo. Oh, Marino. I <laughs> have this one. Okay, I bought that one. Icelandic. Remember the Icelandic sheep I showed you? Border luster. And then clean forest. So I, um, and then there's bunny fur in there somewhere too. So now you can make a list of what you like and what you don't like. <laughs> I'm going to do, I, I'm just in a, like, let me get some sort of my own library going so I can look at it and I can learn my stuff a little bit better. Um, it, so I, that's kind of what I'm going to do a little bit with this to try and start doing that. I know that Benita has, you know, that's really cool about Benita. She has, um, the different, what are those binders called? The, oh, she has little cards. She has little cards on her booth with, um, there's a piece of the staple. And I think I mentioned it on the, um, the video coming up and then there's a knitted swatch. And then she also has a piece of it. If, if you spun it. But she also has something that if, um, which, let me back up. The cards that Sheila's talking about, it's amazing because you'll hear border luster or something like that and you don't even know what it is. Mm -mm. But she'll have some of it sitting there so you can touch it. Yep. But then she'll also have some of it like knit up so you can touch that too. And it's just a good way to get to know the breeds. 
um, I had many comments um, from uh, different individuals that said, what do you mean Lincoln folk? I, I've only heard of Marino and BFL and maybe one or two others. What do you mean there's more than that? And um, that's what's amazing about Benita is she wants to get into different things and introduce individuals to different things. Like I'd never heard of Finn before uh, this weekend. And yep. um, now I have eight ounce, or six, four ounces of it. And, um, you know. Did you know our little thing was put it in the brochure? Right here, new podcaster meet, meet and greet. Actually, we were on the big, remind me about that later. I wanted to tell you a little bit more about that later. This is um, like, this is the flyer. I didn't get one of these apparently. <laughs> but so much to do and so much to see like every day, every day. And then and, in here, oh, the vendors. Okay, you hit that. Oh my goodness. We were actually, they put us with a, a star. Oh, cool. Which I didn't realize that. Um, where is it? Yeah, right at the top. How nice. So it's something that, that they did prom promote us. But next year, what we need to do is we need to get the dates and try and promote a little bit better and just try and reach out for that, which I have some ideas. But We well, want a bigger area where we can just sit and, like, knit and just and, go through our stuff. And, and I and gave them an idea and remind pictures. me about that later because um, they liked my idea for that, too. Oh, they're just amazing. Okay, so, okay, can you tell I'm excited? Okay, so that's what I got from Benita. Do you want to talk about your Benita house since we're on Benita? Or do you no, wanna... but I got a whole chandelier of bags from Benita, and a lot of the bags are not written on, so I need to find out what the codes are so I can tell you, but I think I got nine or ten bags of stuff. Kind of like a whole chandelier of stuff. But I did buy three dirty fleeces. So I did buy the fin. Um with a new friend of mine, um, Jana. And I'll show you this one here. This was a dirty, this is a soft yearling mohair goat. Okay, I got one point, one pound, 26 ounces. And I paid $20 for this bag. Okay, it is dirty. This is what it looks like right here. It is super, super soft. The reason I purchased it is because the, it is very light in color, and my plan is to wash it, spin it, and dye it, but the staple on it is, this is the staple. So from this is the cut down to here. So this is, has a long staple. So it doesn't smell, it, no, it doesn't, Mine smells. it doesn't really smell too bad, but yeah, one point, or one pound, 26 ounces, 20 bucks. So this one is going to be washed, and it is super, super, super soft. Super soft. Oh, I never even saw the weight on mine until just now. Yep, the weights are on there. One pound, ten ounces. I have um, Shetland, Shetland find and fine, and Lamb. it's lamb's wool first cut. Yes. We were actually talking to the lady who owns these animals. Oh she was letting gosh. us pet them. Yeah, so... so you can actually see, like, this is was on near the skin, and they sheared it off. So here it is right here. I love that it changes colors. But, yeah. So I mean, it's, it's got veg in it. You're supposed to have that. But, look, they went right down. Look, you've got all that. This is really, really, really yeah, a little bit of hay. But yeah. these were so cute. And for my so, first. So, so cute. For my first, uh. And she is Please. from, what, Metamora, Michigan. She's a farmer from Metamora, Michigan. Oh, your animal's name was Fancy. Aww. So, yeah, that sheep's name was Fancy. So, the Shetland ends up being a little bit itchier, wolfs and all, and life according to Debbie. But because it's fine, it cuts down on the microns, which um, make it itchy. And then the lamb's wool is um, softer. And then the first cut, that's like a big deal. Well, to me it is. And, um... So, so I got Shetland too. Same lady. I, I am so glad that mine is only one pound ten ounces. For my I, first place, that's just perfect. I got two pounds four ounces, and my sheep's name was Woody, 
And this is from a Shetland, and it's um, the fine micron con, and it's from a lamb. And this is my bag, and I think I'm a little lighter than Debbie. Oh, yeah, I think yours is lighter. A little bit, what is that? Woody, fine Shetland. Oh, yeah. So this is Woody here. This, Woody's got a lot of, this. my sheep I think was bigger. Yeah. Kind of a little bit bigger, but let's see. Oh, look. Look how nice. So this is the inside, closest to the skin. Almost looks like a bear rug, right? Yeah. And then here is what would be on the outside that you would pet. Ain't that cool? It was so cool being able to be so close to the animals. And she oh. let us pet them. And remind me to send you a picture of Jerry petting. I got Jerry with it. Remember the one I said? Oh, he looks like Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Know, <laughs> he had Jerry like a was hauling all of oh. our fleece bags on his shoulder like... Like Santa it was Claus. nothing, and he, what a gentleman! It just yeah, that, what that kind of saved our back. But I had my granny wagon anyway, or my granny cart. You know those carts that you take. Um, they got two wheels on them, and you tilt forward with the black handle because I didn't want to carry a lot of bags. But then the fleeces, because I picked up off, I picked up a fleece for Cappy um, before she got to the grounds. The long Lincoln, because okay. she wants to replicate those little things that she's seen in Rhinebeck and sell them. Yeah. So, so I got her some of that. Yeah. The Lincoln long hair or whatever. And then I got her another fleece too. A lot of the fleeces, I mean, I think I mentioned on the last video that after they were judged, they were already spoken for. So on Sunday, when we went back, a lot of the people in the back that had the animals were cutting their animals then, and then just selling it directly to us, the shoppers. So there was no judging, so they didn't have to worry about judging or the delay. So that's where we found a lot of the fleeces was on Sunday, where they cut Friday or Saturday, no, they cut Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. And then we came back, there was all these bags sitting next to all these pens, and they were all for sale. It was so cool. I, um, last year, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> last year we went just for Saturday. And this year we we ended up staying for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it was and, nice, not um, so rushed. It was, and being able to go back the next day, and you started getting to know everybody and everything like that. And um, what is this? Don't lick me. I know where you asked me. It where. just says locks. Uh, just says locks. I don't know what kind of so, locks these are, but it's so soft. And it's so dirty. Look at all the straw in there. Yeah. So, but it's so soft. I'm gonna clean that, and then I'm gonna try and make my own. Want to smell? Um, Is that I'm a friend gonna, of yours? I'm not gonna sell it, but I just want to make make it my myself. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not interested in doing the. No, no. I don't need no. to sell it. I have other things to do. No, uh, no. So, so what else do you got? So this one, um, I got this one from. It doesn't say who. It doesn't say um, who. Off it goes. <laughs> we have so much Ooh, stuff. We're just. Like, I got this, and the cats found it last night. Oh. So this is Romney and Angora. It's one ounce, and I purchased it from Jelly Bean Farms. Five bucks. I was amazed. And this would be such a great add-in to make something just a little bit softer. It's one ounce, and it's just like here. You want to smell? See, she just loves oh. it. <laughs> but think you can tell they got into it because they were like pulling it. Look. <laughs> okay, kitty. Uh, <laughs> you smell you like sheep, so she wants to lick all the sheep <laughs> off of you. Okay, so I ended up going to the same place, but I ended up getting bunny angora mix. Or bunny. You got angora and I got Romney and angora. Bunny alpaca mix. Bunny and alpaca you got in yeah. silver. Yeah, oh, from Jelly Bean. That's cool. That, French Angora and hand spun yarn. They, I asked them if you know they're if they would take a credit card because I was going to get more than just two ounces. And they a said, lot of people know they just take if, cash. If they're a smaller entity, they only take cash. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really really interesting. Yeah, if people took credit, then I usually gave them my card because some a lot of. Like, if we went in the back to these farmers who actually had the animals in the pens, it was cash and carry. 
I didn't realize that until I yeah, spent Yeah, it was cash money. and carry, so, yeah. But you know what? I, I haven't done dirty fleeces before, so I didn't want to get as many this year. Well, now you know I, for next year. I wanted to work on it and see if I liked it before I actually, like, dove in like she I'm going to step out for just a second. Um, oh. So the other thing that I ended up getting that was, like, a dirty fleece is I ended up, but not a whole fleece. It's just dirty was alpaca, so I got a camel color. This year, I I really just wanted a, not something like beige or white because I wanted to have it so that I could dye it um, with a little bit of a darker color. Um, so I did that, and this was a very, very nice farm. And so I got it from Homestead Acres. So that's the, oops, let me get the finger oh, out so you can see it if you need to. And um, it was really cool being able to buy locally. And, oh, from that, they had, I, I don't even remember what these things were called. But these things were are to make eye cords. I'm not sure, so I'm not so sure on, on doing that. I did try and figure it out a little bit. Um, thicker yarn, but... Yeah, definitely need thicker yarn. Just kind of move it over, and then you just, it's kind of, it's kind of like knitting, but just not with needles. It's the same concept as that, and you just keep going like that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So, I, I'm not so sure. I'm really glad that I ended up getting it from that company, because I just, I love supporting the local farmers who... Um, make it themselves instead of there was another place that they had that was um, two or three times two, two, twice as expensive but it was like made in Taiwan, Taiwan or China yeah. or something like that. Talking so, about the fleece, De you ran across these right? Debbie ran, cro ran across another mill so if anybody's cleaning fleece and you're not sure where to send it to be processed Debbie found this company there and it was called Round, Bo Round Barn they're a family who has a mill in Illinois, and this is their information if you wanted to ever send um, your raw fleeces over there. And um, they have a whole price list, so if you didn't want to clean it, they can clean it for you, or you can clean it and then send it. Yeah, what, um, they have services are endless. They have a lot of services. So anything that you wanted um, from... Complete dirty, you know, skirting, carding, and everything like that, all the way up to making it into yarn. They do have a two ounce minimum charge, yeah. But they'll take anything. So if it's less than two ounces, you're going to get charged for two ounces. But um, just look on their website to be specific. So yeah, for the specifics, they, definitely go to them. Yep. Um, but I ended up getting, they had some like mill extras or something like that, that didn't go into yarn. And so I ended up getting two alpaca minis kind of just to, um, alpaca. And, yeah. This one? So it's I don't, soft. yeah, I don't know what 126 I would, yards. Not sure what I would do with 126 yards, but I'm, uh, it was know. so soft and then. I just had to get it. I don't know. I, I, I found a lady in a tent because there was outside vendors too. And this is her card right here. Uh, Mother of Pearl. And I found crochet hooks. I have never seen this brand before. And I don't know if anybody else has either. They're beautiful. So let me hold one of them up so you can see the brand. It is called, oh my gosh, Forest... What does it say? Forest Hollywood? Palmwood. Palmwood. And on the bottom it has the stamp of what the hook is. And it's a wooden crochet hook. Oh my gosh. I've been using the Boyds. These are really nice. I was crocheting on the way back home on this market bag here. These are really, really nice. Um, they were $8 a piece. I bought G, which is my favorite. And, and I, I bought I. But in that, and then I asked her too if they she sold these in sets, and she said she could possibly um, get a hold of that um, in a set. But she's in she's local to Michigan. She's in Charlevoix. So if you're interested in trying these out, um, here's her information. I really like these though. 
Okay, so for the road I trip. I really, really do. For the road trip, I think I was about here. Wait, no, I was about here for the road trip, so I didn't really get that far. I'm working on a cowl, and um, this was intended to be holy here. So, um, like, the kids have, like, all the grunge stuff going on, so I just, um, so it's going to go around this way. It's going to be very, very big and fat. So that's what I'm working on. Is that, that what I you're working, working on? on for in your trip. car ride? Yeah. Ooh, we did buy some dyes because I have to dye up all of that dirty white stuff that I still have to um, spin. But the lady that I purchased from on Etsy, Sheepy Creations, she was actually there, which yeah. was really cool. But I got these three bottles from her, and then Debbie got three <laughs> bottles from her. Because the more bottles you buy, the more discount she gives you. So I got um, Kelly Green, I got Golden Yellow, and I got Deep Orange. I ended up getting Golden, oh no, Gold Ecru. I think I'm saying that Ecru? word. Ecru? or whatever. Emerald and Royal Blue. Do yeah. you still need this? Yep, I gotta okay. get a, a little teaspoon of this okay. from you. But yeah, these are the jacquard dyes that we're going to use, um, especially after we spin up some of the natural stuff I know for me. And then I'm going to dye it because I really don't want everything white and natural. It's not really a favorite color. White and natural. <laughs> no, it's it's not really a favorite um, color. I ended up finding a D-stash. Can you believe they had a D-stash there? So they had... Those are Michigan colors. Yellow and blue. Yeah. Yellow Lorna's and Lace. Blue. And the sticker... Lorna's, as she wasn't there, Lorna, but somebody okay, was selling so it, her it's stuff. It's Lorna's Lace, and there's a sticker from the place the person bought it. Right so they brought their D-stash there to sell it. Yeah, the, some lady was um, selling it for a friend who was sick or something. Well, that's nice. So um, I've worked with Lorna's Lace before. Yeah, and it's um, sock, about approximately 215 yards, um, each one, so I ended up getting two. And it was ten dollars for the D stash. Not so bad. It, I thought it was really good. Not bad at all. I'm not. Yeah, I can't wait. But it's like one on this, so it's just a step up from lace. So mm -hmm. it's quite thin. I don't care. I'm happy. And then I also <clears throat> I buy from her all the time. Random roving. She was there, so I purchased these three from her. One's Sunny yellow, orange, and then black. So these are a blend of BFL, Lincoln, Alpaca, and Romney. Those are going to look very nice together. I like those I mean, three together. And it's four, each one is four ounces and anywhere between seven to nine dollars a, and they're already dyed and everything. I mean, I don't know how she makes any money because the prices are just amazing. But yeah, these are these are going to be something fun. These are fluffy too. Look, they bounce. <laughs> <laughs> they bounce back. So I ended up finding C J Copic Creations. Did you ever think you'd buy this much fleece? No. And actually, I've been thinking about it on the way over. You bought like, more, more fleece than yarn? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but on the way over, I was like, you know, I spent more this weekend than I have in the past entire year, if not year and a half but or you, two years. But you have to save up but for this. Cause I, took, I did. Cause I took 200 cash and that went really fast. Cause the fleeces, they'll eat up your money really fast. Mm -hmm. We took food. So we didn't really do the carnival food too much the first day. You know, but then there's all that other stuff that you want to buy, too. So you really got to bank it. Like, you know, if you're just going for one skein of yarn, you might see, like, four more that you want. And then you mm -hmm. got that bad decision of which one am I going to get. So you kind of got to save up for these things. I did. I you know, did. I really I saved cash. for, like, two or three months to try to yep. get the money that I had. Take cash and, and then, then take your credit card for and, just those, oh, my God, I got to have that now. And then I was, like, running out of money. And right at the time where I was, like, crap, I'm not going to be able to get as much as I want. That right there, that's when my husband called and said the stuff that he was saving up for, he ended up finding, he's trying to get a vehicle. So 
it ended up being cheaper than he anticipated. That's even better. And I'm like, so I can use the money that's in the bank account? He said, yes, but just be reasonable. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. So um, I we don't generally spend money without asking. He doesn't like hold me over and doesn't let me buy, you know, I mean, he's, he's great. He's like, have I ever told you no? I said, um, only when I've been unreasonable and I should have told myself no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, it just, um, so I ended up getting five ounces of this and this is, um, Merino, Alpaca, Camel and Silk. It's as soft as you imagine it, or a little bit more, and it's, what do you think? I wouldn't spin it. No? I, I've done that before. Okay. I don't care for that. Well, Merino used to be my favorite, and I can say it's no longer my favorite. I was really bummed because I wanted to buy a Rambouillet fleece, and I couldn't find one. Oh, yeah. Couldn't find, I wanted a Shetland, I got a Shetland. I didn't know what Finn was, but I bought it anyway. I'm splitting with um, Jana. But I really wanted a Rambouillet. Couldn't find one. But I did get contact with the long-haired Lincoln that I scored for Cappy. I was talking to the owner. Um, <clears throat> and within two months, um, I can get about six pounds um, sent to my house. Because uh, when they go home, she's going to see what they have. And if they don't have, she's going to do some sharing because they do have a warm barn for the winter. Okay, cool. So I ended up getting four ounces of Wessendale from the same place. Wow, that shit's really, really cheap. <laughs> you got, you got, she got five ounces for four dollars. No, 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 that was, that it was three seventy five an ounce. Oh, okay. I was gonna um, say that's deceiving then. Well, that was what was on the thing and. So I ended up getting these three colors to go together, and this was Merino. So um, this is a little bit pinkish over here. The color's not exactly showing up, but um, I put those three together. You know, sometimes I, I'm i like, man, I know I want three colors, but I don't know what colors to pick. And the lady just grabbed three colors, and I'm like, I would never choose those three colors together, but I love it. Please, yeah, hook me up. Just because sometimes just doing something a little bit out See, now of here. Now, now you're down a new rabbit hole. The fiber yeah. rabbit hole. I am. Um, the fleece rabbit hole. So it's a good thing that I um, got rid of that 2000. So you got two empty totes and now they're refilled. No, uh, I'm hoping to put it in one. I one don't tote? Know. Don't smush it. Uh, it'll be smushed. Yeah, you shouldn't smush it. Okay, then it'll be two. Yeah, you shouldn't smush your stuff. What did I do with... I, I mean, don't... don't don't smush it, you know, because that's a long period of time. It's going to be compacted. It's got to breathe. And you have to put it in bags. Pat says to, she puts hers in brown paper bags. All her fleece like this she, because she let, it breathes. It breathes okay. better. So you she's got, she's, I have a whole bunch of LD bags. So she's got like, I don't know, maybe 10 grocery bags sitting on a shelf and they're all full of fleece and they're just nice and they're open and everything. Open. Yep. She's got stuff downstairs to deter the they de use lavender. What else deters? There's all kinds she of natural stuff. She has this other thing. Oh, this was, I brought this one out. I just wanted to wear something that I made. This is the, the fireplace embers, but now it's, I'm hot. Now you're hot? I'm hot. I was cold. Now I'm hot. I just think we were going to record outside, but it's just like so humid. I went to go water my garden and pick everything that was ripe. By the time I got in, I'm like, oh my God, we cannot sit outside. Okay, so I have... Two more fibers things. I wanted to try. I kept seeing this stuff everywhere. In oh, there. the locks. The locks. I'm trying to see the dyed see locks. It. Dyed locks. And do you know what kind of locks they are? This one. Do they see. say, or they're just locks? They did tell me. And now I don't know. I know what's wool. Darn it. And then... Darn it. They didn't tell me. Darn it. It's not on the... 
There's some veg in here. Okay. Just forewarn you. I'm seeing that. I'm like, I think I need to rinse it out. But, you know, but why in the world would they mm. dye it and leave veg in there? So, like, this is B. B. L. Wesleydale? Yeah. So, this one. But I got three different. I got three different colors. colors and you can't see it very well in the plastic. Hot pink. Yeah. So, this is who I got it from. Wool E. Farms. Wool E. Farms. Yeah. Is the pink dirty? No. Nope. Doesn't seem like the pink dirty, but that seems dirty. And this it's one, yeah. Yucky. So I'm not sure why they would not clean it and dye it and sell it like that. But they were... Oh, oh there's dirt in here, too. Oh, my gosh. This one, too. Yep. There's dirt in here, too. So... I hope you got these really, really cheap. This was $6 for three ounces. I don't understand why they didn't clean it. $6 for, for three, three ounces. So. Yeah, you'll just be picking it through as you go along. Yeah, but one of them looked like it had, like, poop in it or something. Oh, like, that's gross. Nasty. Well, I mean, that's what's dirty, but why would you dye dirty? I don't get that. Mm. I don't know. But what they were but saying th is you can take you, you can take the locks and you can actually spin from it. They said it might be, a, but you would take it like this and you'd pull it. And then you just go ahead and spin from there in it and then just pull it like you would and just go like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to try and spin from it doing it that way and just see but, if it's, <laughs> yeah, just to see if I can do it because then that would cut out on having a card and stuff like that. And if that. you need to clean your fleece, power scour, unicorn wash. Which I think I've um, stocked up on this unicorn power scour to clean your fleece. And I believe the fiber pusher also mentioned a video, which I got to go back. Because I did last year and I can't remember to tell Debbie correctly how to do it. Because I got a lot of fleece to wash. I think I might let the Shetland sit. I'm going to do the fin first. And then send it out. I have to get my wheel repaired before I can do any spinning, which is just killing me right now. Oh, but I did buy. Ooh. I, I, all I did was clip it so you could just see what the words say. I did buy a t-shirt there. Not buying yarn is like not breathing. <laughs> so I will tell you, I did not buy one skein of yarn. I did. I did not buy one skein of yarn. I bought everything fiber related or I bought something to dye fiber or I bought needles to work with fiber or a t-shirt to wear while I'm doing fiber. But I, not that there wasn't wonderful yarn was wonderful, but indie just... dyers there. There was, I'm just not, I was not looking for yarn. I saved all my money up for fleece and fiber and yeah, I, yeah. I'm going to Ann Arbor. I can get from Indie Dyers there. But I like the shirt. Very nice. I like the shirt. I think that's all I brought to show. There might be other stuff here and there, but as of right now, I have three more. I only brought so much to show because, yeah, Debbie's got a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> So I went Don't to, act like you, <laughs> she didn't fill the back seat in some of the trunk area. <laughs> oh, half of it was yours. I know, because the fleeces, they take up a lot of space. And be prepared. She, she if you put go, all the poopy sheep by me. Well, you know what? Be prepared if you buy fleece, which how many fleece we have in the car? I had three. How I many did you one. have? You have one. It's going to stink. It's going to smell like Poor somebody's Jerry. got B.O. or somebody's got a lot of gas. Poor Jerry. <laughs> it smells. So be prepared for that, like, oh, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he kept saying, oh, well, yeah, I'm just trying to air out the car. <laughs> the poor guy. Um, so Brickle Bricolage Studio. Emily, I'm sorry if I'm not saying it correctly. This was just so beautiful. I had to get it. It's just gorgeous to dye up, and it just, what do you think? Is it soft? Is it? What is it? Oh, it's a mix of a lot of everything. BFL, Parhe, Polworth, I don't know if that's the way you say it. Selvage, Silk Noils, 
Montadale, CBM, Suffolk. That's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. That's a lot of and stuff. And so I guess, you know, but... It could be art is, yarn? Yeah. It's art yarn. It's going to be art yarn. So it's just kind of cool. Emily was amazing. It was so nice to talk to Emily finally after talking to her about getting everything going. Um, I'll save that one for last. Then, you know, we haven't had nothing in the satellite store in like forever. Seriously, when I, whenever I'm doing things, when you're like satellite store, I'm like, yeah, nothing. Nothing because oh, we're know, saving. Nothing because we're saving. And I just, I don't have the ability to buy like like I used to. Um, yeah, but not when we're saving to spend hundreds of dollars at a fiber festival. Right. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I, I think I bought, I'm remembering two or three skeins of yarn that I bought this year. I'm, I'm probably missing one or two. But, I mean, I don't buy yarn. So this um, is putting you in the hole for the biggest loser. I don't care. 2,000 okay. 2, pounds, I don't or 2,000 grams, I don't have to, you know, whatever. It's okay. I can't win anyways. Um, the, but you can. <laughs> huh? But other people can. Yes. Yeah. You the Miller can. girls were there? The Miller girls. Wow. Sharon buys from them. Okay. They were there. And Al again, huh? And that's who I got these from. I ended up seeing these. What is this? It's wool. Straight up wool. Yep, yeah. it is. It feels like wool. And um, they had uh, um, like three racks. And this was the darkest color that they had. And it was mm -hmm. $5 a skein. Are you kidding me? For 240 no. yards. Right. And $5 a skein. $5 a skein. So I got four. Cause I'm that's like, a really good deal. I, I was saying, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to see what everybody has and then who I remember and what I, I remember is important. I'll go back. But when I saw this one, this was my first purchase. I'm like, yeah, I make an exception for this one. I'm like, oh, darn it. Where's Sheila? Yeah. <laughs> I kept saying They got a cool card too. The yeah, Miller girls. Nice. They do sell in Ann Arbor. Well, yeah, for $5 for 240 yards, that's a good deal. And then she was telling me that she was whining herself and she, while she was watching TV, so actually they might be a little bit over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that was, um, this I'm going to dye, I'm planning on dyeing this purple. You are? Yes. I'll put, like, purple and, like, speckle it or Are you going to crock pot dye? I am. Um, I had so much fun crock pot dyeing. Okay, and then the last one that I have, I made, oh, oh, papers, okay, I ended up making this, and um, then I couldn't, this was the, the design, the beige one, that I'm still working on the pattern, it's a little bit complicated for me, because it's the first lace thing that I'm trying to do, and it's, it, it's complicated for me to do it, but when I started it, I did not have enough yarn to finish this. So when I went there, I brought a piece of this so that I could match it. And I went a little bit lighter because yep. you can never get the same dye lot. You know, I mean, the dye lot issues or whatever. I would rather go lighter. And so this is definitely, it's Shepherd's Wool from Stonehenge Fiber. And that's exactly where this came from, so it's going to be the same yarn consistency. I have no idea why they are not there, and I don't have I don't have who I bought it from. No. So I ended up getting two, and I already wound one up. That was fast. You got home last night, and you already caked it up. Yes, I did. Good for I want to finish this. I think in finishing this one, it will help me write the pattern. So. Terrific. That's what my goal was for this. So, um, it is significantly lighter, and I wanted to make it look like I meant to do it. So, that one, I'm very happy. And when I saw that they had two of the same dye lot, I'm like, I'm taking two because I'm sick of running out of an, out of yarn on this, this project. So, I got the on. So much stuff. Oh, so 49 much stuff. minutes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do you have anything um, for the satellite store? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing that was kind of interesting, um, when I was talking to Emily, she was talking about 
Glemis and Glemis. It, it is, um, they are out of California, um, and they brought drum carters. They brought all kinds of equipment. They did. All it kinds was, of equipment to um, make bats. It was really, really nice. Their stuff was to phenomenal. work with roving. All so kinds of this stuff. is how to get a hold of them. Oops, let me try and hold my arm still. Clemens and Clemens. Yeah, they had a whole bunch of stuff. Drum carters. They had electric uh, e wheels. Just a lot of. It's all listed on there. Yeah, yeah. They had a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay, well, this was our stash enhancement. It was. I do um, have, um, let's see, what do we have left? Do I have anything left? I guess on our next podcast, we'll actually show you knitting and crochet. Okay. So that'll be our next oh. podcast. My Correct? Um, yeah. I do want to let you know that um, I think there's only, what, nine or ten days left. Oh, you got buttons. Yep, I did get buttons. Oink. The cat Oink lady. Yarns. Yep. The cat lady and um, the yarn and I. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, little buttons. We didn't have ours. No. Nope. That's okay. Yeah, I forgot so much stuff on the further way up there. It it's just, just, we ended up just, you get to the point where it's like, okay, this is as much as I can do, can handle right now. And that's what we did. And we just, you know what? We're, we're here to have fun. Yep. We're here to, and it was, it was so wonderful. It really was. Um, and mm. I can't believe I have to wait a whole year for it to come back. This is really good. It's green. Of course <laughs> it's green. It's kale, broccoli, anything that's green, apple, kiwi, and it's a <laughs> nutrition boost or something like that. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> she was just like, Ew. oh, what is the green stuff you're drinking? But it's really, really, really good. But anyway, back yeah, to everybody always says that, and I'm always like, yeah. No, it's good. Um, it's but green. there's like nine or ten days left for um, free shipping for Thank God for Bags. So I did bring a few new things, maybe, or things that you haven't seen that are available. So I still have <clears throat> a couple of these seven-inch needle cozies. And, of course, this has needle cozy in there. I mean, um, DPNs in there. So you've got the T-Words. Oh, my God, i got fuzz all over them. Got the Dirty Sheep. More T words, and then this is just knitting words. <clears throat> so I do have a, a few of these small bags that are really cute. There's interfacing in them, and then just a little handle with a D ring. These are something new that I'm making now. So there is no zipper in these, and this is what it is. Oh, it says what nice. happens around the teapot, stays around the teapot. Um, a little bit of interfacing, no zipper, two snaps, and then the inside. So what do you think? It's an envelope style. Okay, this would be excellent to learn how to walk and knit. There you go. You can go like this, and there's just, you can snap one. Oh, yeah, one, snap your yarn can come and through. And then your yarn can come through here. And it would be great to try and learn to knit. And sure. you can just like do that. So even if you're like in public or something like that, you can still knit. And all of the yarn is in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I really like it. I like the pink right here. And I really like how on the inside. There's no zipper. I, I really like this. The inside is beautiful. And you, you brought just, it's very simple, but just a little bit of, pink on the edge to bring oh, the, yeah, the idea thread. through. Because the pink's going to match this right here. That is beautiful. The decal there. So I have a couple of these coming up um, in the shop. And then I also have this. These are these have been selling like crazy, but I haven't shown them on the podcast. What happens at a knitting retreat stays at a knitting retreat. <laughs> That's so cool. So this is just the regular bag. It's got a light interfacing. But what I added in this bag is, see there? Oh, cool. So there's a little pocket. And if you want to take the pocket off, you can. 
And then there's a little opening here, maybe to put a cord in. If I can open up the snap. There we go. You can put your cords in here if you would like. And then it snaps right back on to the bag. That is pretty cool. So if you're going to keep your cords and then the inside. And it also has a flat bottom. It's really light inter interface. But I think the saying is what's um, attracting people. What happens at a knitting retreat stays at a knitting retreat. I think I only have two or three of these listed. The rest have already gone. Um, but I'm going to try to get some more in. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you these. They are still free shipping. U.S. domestic only because Canada is so pricey and just out of the U.S. is so pricey. But these are like two of the newest ones and they've been doing really well. So I wanted to show you um, because I'm going to list these and I really haven't showed these, I think, on Instagram. If you follow Thank God for Bags on Instagram, I try to um, post um, new things on there also. Um, what is that? Knit Naked. Is that a sticker? Oh, yeah. I have a whole bunch of different contacts that I made. Knit Naked. I had, um, this was just... Bare Naked Wolves. <laughs> We're at 55 minutes and we haven't, I haven't even reviewed all of the different stuff that we have gone through. Well, yet. we just got back last night, so we're yeah. a little sort of out of it. So we, she can get through all of her stuff. I think I'm just going to, as I come across it, I'll show you as I go. Yeah. So, um, I'm not sure when we'll podcast next, but you'll probably hear just a little bit more about it now. Um, I'm doing a discount for my patterns it's 30 mff and is it a sale yes a it's sale for, on ravelry yes it's for 30 percent off of um any of my patterns so what is it expire it ex thank you oh my god i will ask you the hard questions uh, thank you i appreciate <laughs> it sometimes i just need somebody to help me like that i really do so flame and so, embers they can get that 30 percent off yep through the end of September. So, well, September 30th, I don't know if there's an extra day or okay, not. Okay, so, so that's like five weeks. So the pat it's going to run for five weeks. Yeah, so I put that up there. And and that's really nice of you. I my cards away, so. That's really nice. Oh, thank if you. you can get Flame and Embers, you should get that. That's a good pattern. Thank you. Yeah. Also, the little capelet, the Harrison. That's uh, a nice little one, too. Especially if just your shoulders are always cold and the fall's coming. That's knit and crochet. Yep, so I got. I think I made three of those. I made two. I think I made three of those. One for my mom and two for me because it's nice at work. Mm -hmm. If your shoulders are cold, especially if the air is blowing on you, okay. and you don't want to wear nothing around your neck. Yeah. I will get you a glass of this so you can try it. Uh oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Not really. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> Well, I wish you guys a wonderful week, and if you guys are going to Ann Arbor, let us know. Um, she's going to be there the whole time. She's going to have yep. her... Um, um, well, I don't want to block Debbie's face, but here is the Ann Arbor Fiber Festival. And if you watch the Fiber Pusher podcast, she's going to be vending there, too. Yeah. So, so you can come meet her. We're not sure... or She's going to be there, but I'm not sure when I'm going yet, so... Um, Yep. But I think I, that one section that they have the food, I think that's a section we could just take over. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works there. I really don't. Wouldn't that be fun? Guess what? This is where everybody's meeting up. Nobody knows, but here we are. <laughs> don't forget to get on on the cows because there's a sock plank to win. There's project bags to win. A skein of yarn to win. There's stitch markers from One Fine Design to win. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of prizes in our Ravelry group to win. Mm -hmm. And if you are Shelly Knowles, you need to email me because I have not heard from you about the Michigan bag. In the next episode, we're going to draw from episode, was it 72? I don't know. Where um, I talked a big, um, we're at my house and I talked about the big, fluffy white oh yeah we're sitting at debbie's house so behind us is like a tropical big picture and so that one um we said if you um want to um win one of my patterns then go ahead and comment about the the jacket i was making yep so we need to get those 
names together. And any comment is fine. I'm not going to take it throw, personally. Throw Most them, of them are funny. <laughs> throw them in a bowl, and then she's going to draw. Yep. And somebody will get free one of my pattern. Yeah. Okay. So you won't have to get the 30%. And, and that can, that is through YouTube only. That one's not on Ravelry. Yes. That is, yeah, that's only YouTube. Okay. It's only well, YouTube. you guys have a wonderful week and keep on knitting, crocheting, spinning, or weaving. Yes, and comments, questions, and concerns, leave them below, and thanks for subscribing. Bye-bye.